Welcome to Gerontology 2326, Statistics for the Behavioral and Social Sciences. The textbooks we will be using are in workbook format so that you can read and then answer questions pertaining to the chapter. The main textbook being used is Making Sense of Statistics. You are welcome to use either of the editions shown, the 5th edition or the 6th edition. The textbooks we are using is, are in workbook format so that you can read and then answer questions pertaining to the chapter. There are four parts to the textbook. Each section is labeled as such. The first part is Part A, the Research Context. Section 1, the Empirical Approach to Knowledge. Generalizations based on everyday ob observations are often misleading. Using the example in the text, suppose you observe that your friends plan to vote in favor of a school board measure to build new schools. Unless they are a good cross-section of the population and the electorate, it is likely you may be wrong. So here your friends say yes. We have a certain group of the population of voters that say yes. We have a certain group of the population of voters who may disagree with you and say no. So whom or what to observe? So we could be looking at all of the public school systems public school teachers in Pennsylvania, which could be known as the population, but the population may be so large and the researchers may plan only to observe a small subset of the population, which is known as a sample. Researchers will also know how to draw an adequate sample, which is important in conducting valid research. So researchers will also plan how to, obs to observe by deciding whether they should construct new measuring instruments or select instruments that have already been developed by others. So for example, researchers might use existing multiple choice tests and select those that are valid for answering their research questions. They might do observations. And you can see uh, that in this photo, we might be observing a group of children playing. We may do focus groups or we may do one-on-one -on -one interviewing. For those of you who are in social work or gerontology, you may find that interviewing and focus groups are used quite frequently in your research. Psychology students may find personality scales or observational research is utilized more. Researchers will also determine when observations will be made. Should they be made in the morning or late at night? The timing of these observations may affect the results of the research. As you see in these pictures, there are many people walking during the daylight, but then there's only a few walking at night. People may also be very reluctant to speak with a researcher at night when it's dark or after a really long day at work. We also want to, as researchers, plan observations under particular circumstances. Questioning people during a Christmas season in a busy shopping mall about their July 4th plans for the upcoming year is all plans are not good plans. So even some of the best plans cannot be completed because of either physical, ethical, legal, or financial constraints. Often as students, it is the financial constraint that may make it difficult for you to conduct research. Here are several terms you need to be familiar with. Please 